welcome to Shangri-La. Good morning, good morning. We are heading just across the road because we have something super exciting. We're literally staying right here, you guys. I highly recommend it. It's called Jianyi Light Inn, if I'm correct. It's a really, really nice spot. Central here in Shangri-La. And now we're going into Yi Kyo Photography because we are going to rent some of these beautiful outfits. And it, it has to be done when you're here in Shangri-La. You of have course. to look the part, you have to uh, wear the traditional outfits. <laughs> we actually came last night to pick out our outfits, to choose what we wanted to wear. Taz went for some fancy, schmancy, furry gown, I want to say. Yes, like this. So we decided today we are going to dress in the Tibetan culture, in the local culture. We're going to embrace it and we're going to go and explore what Shangri-La has to offer dressed like a local. So why not? Come with us. Hopefully we're going to get makeup done, hair done, clothes. I'm excited. So stay tuned. Let's see this. So we just walked back to our hotel because they just said they've got a few girls in there right now. So they're going to be about 20, 30 minutes. So we thought, okay, we're going to pop back over to our hotel's reception because we have hopefully some very special post waiting for us. We're expecting an exciting delivery. Did it come? It's here, it's here. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank <Yay>. you. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. This is mega. This is mega. All right. This is something that we've been waiting on for a while. For all of you eagle-eyed viewers, we told you that we're going somewhere massive after Shangri-La. We'll reveal that later, but we've got the boss it right now anyway. Adventure. We will tell you mm, sometime later in the vlog. Stay tuned, keep watching. We're going to go back yes, over the are. road, literally, literally that shop there, <laughs> and go get into our Tibetan outfits. Yes, Sorry? we are. Should we go and do it? Let's go do it. How's it going then? Well, hey, we're getting dressed up, we're getting suited and booted. We're ready, and we're wearing the uh, traditional um, outfits, the traditional clothing, and then we're going to go around Shangri-La and take some photos. You look like a warrior princess. Thank you. Zena. Cheers, you. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, are you getting your uh, hair and makeup done as well? Yes, I think so. Oh. Well, dark, you know. How many parts are there to this outfit? So I put on like one top. There's this. Then there's this. This is separate. Then there's a tie. I really love this. It's gonna keep nice. you nice and warm as well though. Right. Now, uh, take a seat, it's time for some makeup. And once that's done, that's just a little before, we'll give you a little after as well. Once Libby's done, then uh, it's time for me to get my uh, outfit going as well because it's only fitting when you come to uh, Shangri-La. You're already looking gorgeous and super tanned as well. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get the show on the road. Let's do it. This is the before. Yeah. In three, two, one. Ta -da! We are done, we are finished. Look at this. I think she did such a good job. I have butterflies on my face. Look at this. Stunning. A little hat, a little headpiece. And now you've got earrings. That is so cute. I don't think I've ever seen you. I can't even on. see what's going on right now because I've got my eyes shut. You're hilarious. So I haven't even seen what I look like. You're looking beautiful though. They've done such a nice job. Honestly, I'm so happy with mine. It looks so cute. So perfect. Okay, here we go. This is the finished look. I will give you a finished look when Taz is done as well. So right now. Yeah, you look so cute. He's going for it. Right. Let's go. We're going to see you outside in a second when we are ready. Let's go. And how are we looking? I think we are the full Shaban. Ta-da! Your <laughs> sleeves are, are so, so long. long <laughs> no, they're good. <laughs> but no, I think this looks really cool. We are going to take in the city of Shangri-La in Yunnan province. Take it in like this. Dress as a local, embrace the culture, go and see the sights, obviously snap a few pictures. Well, uh, whereas I've got a whole face full of makeup, <laughs> like this is the first ever time in my life that I've ever got makeup on, so You're hey ho. It, <laughs> You're beautiful. Yeah, you guys need to comment below, let us know. I don't think the locals actually put glitter on, but hey ho, I have the full shebang, I have the headgear as well. Look at this. And we've got. Uh, Quite a few pieces to this outfit. Like, it's not just one piece, it's quite a few, right? Yeah, it's like the top, then a coat, then a, a little this bit, and then something else. 
but I'm loving it. Can we just appreciate how short yours is on you? <laughs> the ladies that's, at the shop were laughing because you're too tall. That's what the lovely lady that was dressing me up was saying. She was like, you're too tall for this. And I was like, well, hey, what can I say? <laughs> Let's go. Let's explore the city of Shangri-La. We are in the old town right now of Dukezong. I think is how you say it. If I've said that wrong, I apologize. You can let me know how to actually say it. But we're gonna go and explore. We're gonna go and check this place out, see what there is. We're super, super excited to be here. Now, as we've come up from Lijiang, Shangri-La is a little bit higher. So in altitude, I think we're about 3,000. 400. 400, something like that. So. I'm out of breath just walking, to be honest. Wow. The architecture has changed already. The style, the culture, it all looks different. Oh, I am loving the blue backdrop in the sky as well. There's a little bit of cloud cover as well, but nothing too ominous, which is amazing. However, uh, this was also previously known as Zhong Dian. Yes. Up until 2001, when the name of the city was changed to Shangri-La. Yep. And it's actually done wonders because the tourism here has picked up massively because we were on the train yesterday from Lijiang down here and it was ram-packed, like it was full to capacity. Yeah, so tourism has picked up. Now, Shangri-La actually is based, it's a fictional place that is based on the James Hilton novel back in 1933, I think it was. And it's they, called The Lost Horizon. Right, yeah, so it's called The Lost Horizon. Now, there's a, a theory that nobody actually knows where the, the real, real Shangri-La Shangri is. So places like uh, Pakistan, China, obviously, um, Northern India, Bhutan. Bhutan, they all have their own version, version of Shangri-La. So we are not too sure what the differences are, but basically Shangri-La is synonymous with like the earthly Beauty. tones beauty nature all of that kind of thing look at this gate that we were showing you guys from the other side of the road it is beautiful wow -y. we had some amazing views from the room as well like we could see the monastery and i think we can see the wheel as well the prayer wheel which we will show you guys later on in the vlog we have gone up a thousand meters further north as far as elevation is concerned, so Lijiang was 2400 meters, whereas Shangri-La here is 3400 meters. And you know what's super cool as well? I have never had this in my entire life. Our hotel room has an oxygen, oxygen supply. Tank. Yeah, like a supply of oxygen. So if you're feeling the altitude sickness, you can easily just switch it on and sort yourself out a bit, I guess. So it's quite helpful, but I've never had that in my entire life. Hopefully we're not going to need it because we're not really exerting ourselves no. too much. But we have heard that people, by the time they come to Shangri-La, some actually need the oxygen supply because of being higher than uh, usual. 3,400 meters, guys. This is pretty cool. It looks pretty new, like the development that is, even though we are in the ancient town of Duki Zong, but these gates are fascinating like every time i see this the script has changed as well so you've got mandarin but you've got tibetan text as well the local tibetans here are the cam tribe or the cam people uh, from the area this is also known as tibetan teaching autonomous prefecture so this is pretty Woo! close to tibet it is, yeah. And actually, did you know that Dukezong Ancient Town is one of the best and well-preserved Tibetan towns or ancient towns here in China. in China? So there we go. Okay, I had no idea about that. Yeah, and it's known as the Moonlight City because Dukezong in the local Tibetan language, it translates to moon and light, I think. Oh. so. There you go. Look at that behind you, that, that wow, so cool. oh, look at that roof of that building, all golden. Oh, that is so, so beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That is, uh, sorry, <laughs> English, Ingo. Yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good man, good man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the ceiling here. 
This looks beautiful. Wow. Ow. Already, like you were saying as well, like the whole architecture has changed. The whole vibe of the place has changed. I think this feels like the most countryside place that we've been. You know, I've not seen any high-rise buildings. Yes. The architecture is very, I would say it's quite cultural, right? Uh, look at that. I mean, again, this is pretty newly built, but it's along the same lines of what you would expect from um, a Tibetan style uh, design, if you want to call it that. However, I just came down here because of the gate. This absolutely gorgeous gate that was at the entrance over there. But now that we've come here, I've seen something else. Our absolute favorite, Misha. There's no better way to start your day with a full face of makeup and dressed up in a local outfit and then have Misha with that, eh? What more could you want? Hello. Hi. Can we get uh, this one? Eager? Uh, Bing. Okay, the best thing is, guys, that we have a Misha here in Shangri La. So we are so, so, so far up in terms of altitude as well. We have a Misha. We actually had a KFC outside as well under Pizza Hut, which is wild if you ask me. But look at this. We have a Misha vending machine. Wow, this is definitely something that is like suited for us. This is perfect. I've never seen a Misha vending machine before. But look at this. We have some little, what would you say? Some, some snacks. It looks like some peanuts and crisps. That is so cute. Hey Misha, we look the same. Ta-da. We are the same, right? Look. Ta-da. <laughs> I love that. Oh, finished already almost. Perfect, thank you. This is always speedy, always uh, express service down here. But anyway, let's go and explore the town of Shangri-La. So we are definitely not the only people wearing the local outfit because there's so many other people here as well. So the main thing is, as long as not everyone's wearing exactly the same thing, we're all good. Because otherwise it's gonna be one of them Halloween parties where everyone turns up as uh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Look at that in the distance. That is incredible. Do you know what that is, guys? That is the largest prayer wheel in the world. It takes how many people to uh, turn that? I think it takes like six to ten people to turn it. Wow. Which is absolutely insane. I mean, obviously, we're going to go and check it out in a minute. But this whole town is so cute. It's actually a lot busier than I thought it would be. But it's not overrun. Like, it's not crowded at all. This is the view that we can see from our room. These buildings here, I'm not sure so far what these are. Probably temples, monasteries. Let's go up there, have a look. Let's give you guys a little tour of Shangri-La as well because we have heard from so many people so many good things about this place. Do you know the one thing that I will absolutely commend China for is, see that in the distance? That is the 5G tower. No matter where you go, like you could be as high up or as remote, but you will have full mobile signal. That is epic. That's so convenient as well, like you stay connected and it's just easy. Is that a dragon's head? Looks like a little fountain here. And I think that is the entrance to the temple behind it. The water is so clean, so clear. Beautiful. Is that a dragon head, guys? Let us know, comment below. And what does the writing say here? No idea, but I'm sure it's going to be some happy tidings. So I think that this is the ancient well of the Great Turtle Hill, which apparently is cool in the summer and warm in the winter. So this is beautiful. It runs out and apparently you can drink the water. I'm not sure if I would want to, but apparently it's good enough to drink. So it must be pure coming from the mountains, probably. So is that the direct us. source of the water coming in? Oh, I don't know. Because I did say this, the water looks quite clear. It does, doesn't it? And people wow. have thrown their pennies in to make a wish as well. That's my favourite thing about wells. All right, we were going to embark on a little journey going up these steps see how long it takes and uh, hopefully it's not gonna wear us off too much hey hi slow and steady that's the way to do it down here let's go guys see you on the other side we're going a bit further There's just <sighs> one more Oh no. One more flight of stairs. That's not, <laughs> that's like the equivalent. Wrong side. 
of like so many okay so that is the big buddha temple here yes on top of the turtle hill you can't really go and uh, record inside as no. the temples in the area yeah you gotta be respectful and yeah. we absolutely completely understand but inside it's wow. beautiful it's three stories isn't it so gorgeous yeah stunning wow uh oh could be actually you've got is that pine looks like it, yeah pine tree. could be yeah for sure wow yeah, that's so crazy like oh yeah look <laughs> yeah, here it is yeah look. the golden hair right on a super sunny day it reflects so incredibly the blue sky is out a little wow this is stunning look absolutely beautiful edges. right I mean, it's a popular photo spot as well as you would imagine people who have uh, got the outfits going just like us we'll uh, love to uh, get the photos taken here but look at that the sides and the edges look so gorgeous and especially the the detail the golden detail got some girls all dressed up in their local outfit as well <laughs> so sweet i love it everywhere as well like everybody's getting dressed up they're all wearing the um clothes you can also hire a photographer as well which you can do in most of china but you can hire a photographer to come and take photos of you in and around shangri-la if you wanted as well but i mean it makes sense though isn't it because they know exactly all the right spots to take yeah. you some amazing photos yeah so if that's your kind of thing and you want to take some amazing photos yeah spend a little bit extra get yourself a photographer we do this thing ourselves, so we don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> These prayer flags are so beautiful. So I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, but prayer flags, they're tied up around the edge of any sort of religious site because when they blow in the wind or when they lift up in the wind, it means that the prayer's been read. So there you go. Yeah, and How I also that? heard that it goes straight to heaven yes, or something. Yes, right, yeah. So Stunning. like, look at these ones here. If these flags are lifting because of the wind or the breeze, that means your prayer's been heard. So happy days. Um, I think you can write your own prayer flag as well. I think. I've heard, I've heard you can. And then you can tie it up. And then whatever prayer you've got on there, that gets uh, sent to heaven. So whoever's got their prayers on here, may all your prayers be heard. This is what I was telling you guys about earlier. The largest prayer wheel in the world it takes more than six or seven people to be able to turn this i don't know if the camera is doing any justice to this the sheer scale and the size and lo and behold as i was saying the number of people it takes to turn the prayer wheel and always it goes clockwise wow look at the size the largest prayer wheel in the world guys this is probably i heard somewhere i read it actually it's 21 meters tall i'm sure where's the the fountain of knowledge that's libby she usually has all the facts down to a t so let me just ask her because i'm sure she knows because I, th I think I actually had Libby say this, that it's uh, 21 meters tall. This is 21 meters in height and 60 tons in 60 weight. 60 tons? Yup. It's oh the largest golden prayer wheel in the world. I had the base is made of gold and the rest of it is copper. Wow. That's in 60 tons? Yeah. Okay. Right, let's just go around it and give you guys a good little view of this. So it weighs 60 tons and it's 21 meters tall. I wonder how long it took to uh, build the entire wheel. And from up here, you can get panoramic views of Shangri-La. Okay, we're staying in the area of Duke Izong, uh, ancient town. Quaint little uh, village, I'd call it, but beautiful. Beautiful nonetheless, surrounded by hills. What have you got for us? I thought you were gonna join in. Well, I, I would love to. If I can. Yeah. Uh, every single bit, there's straps. So you can use them to um, turn it. So if there's one that becomes available, then uh, I'll join in as well. Yeah. Here we are. Hello. 
Oh, here we are. Here's one. I've got it. With your right hand. I'm doing my bit as well. May all our prayers be heard and go straight to heaven. This, I can tell you, even with so many people turning it, it is taking quite an effort still. So this giant prayer wheel behind me, the world's largest, it was actually built in 2001 and it was to commemorate when the name was changed from Zhong Dian to Shangri-La. So this is absolutely fascinating i don't think it even took them very long to build it either but this just looks so grand and ah oh, look we've got the local ladies around here pulling it as well you should always turn a prayer wheel to the right and with clockwise. your right hand as well so always your right hand and clockwise yes no, there no. you go so okay. we learned that so there we go we we'll share it with you okay next stop ready let's do this let's go this square is beautiful. We're at the center of the ancient town. The prayer wheel is just up there. You can see it in the distance. We've got a museum on the left side. We've also got another museum on the right hand side as well. But I can see what Taz is walking towards because Have you seen the size of the bears? I saw them too. Look at that. They Straight down. They're not bears though, by the way, guys. Dogs. They are absolutely massive wow teddy bears okay that is insane i mean i've seen some big dogs in my life but i know that these dogs are to this region wow they are so beautiful they are they're huge as well ginormous look at the guy standing are he sleeping <laughs> that's crazy wow i've never seen dogs that big that is absolutely wild yay <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. And honestly, I so said we just saw these dogs and they're so big. We saw them from coming down these steps. And then over in the corner as well, we also have a yak that's over there. I don't quite agree with like the animals being tied up, but I think also this one you can sit on it and take photos probably Is that a yak? too. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just thinking that probably you can take photos, right? Wow. It's I a don't. Yak, though. Right? Yeah, we're not in favour of animals being tied up, but then again, this probably is being used for like yeah. photos and stuff. But hey, Look at, that. at least it looks like it's in good health. Yeah, it looks in like it's good in good health. Yeah. yeah, in good health. So I guess you can't ask for more than that, right? So for now, Mr. Yak, I hope you have a good day. I just want to show the size of this big boy here. He is absolutely massive. Hello. Sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, look at the size of the dog here and look at the size of the guy. I wonder if they're used for like hunting or something, do you think? Uh, maybe. Or maybe protection. Ah, protection. I mean, protect cattle from maybe whatever predators that might lurk in the area. Wolves. Wolves, maybe? Bears. Bears, yeah. What do you think? I don't know. We saw a bear sign in Lijiang, didn't we? Yeah. When we went to uh, Jade Mountain. We did. We went to Spruce Meadows and there were signs saying beware of bears or something like that <laughs> that was wild that was wild okay this place is definitely picking up i mean when we got here in the morning it wasn't as busy but then again it is a, a tourist area pizza hut apple shop all happening here in shangri-la guys this is what i was saying in china it doesn't matter how high up you go altitude wise when it comes to convenience you will have things available absolutely there you really? go love it we do indeed there's more yaks coming up these look like the real deal, like proper taxidermy, these ones. These ones are huge. Whoa! Look at the size. Let me scale. You really look like you own this one. It's off your farm. Yeah, I'm gonna like drag him along. Yeah, go on then. You're a shepherdess. I'm gonna bring him home. Come on. Come wow, on. Wow, his name's uh, Bossman. Yeah. He wow. looks scary, I won't lie. Like, even though it's dead, it looks scary. <laughs> And look at this one as well, KFC. Where so else funny. in China will you see a KFC with yaks outside? <laughs> and here's some yaks out here. Wow, me, this is all outside of a KFC. <laughs> I love it. KFC with a lot of culture, with a lot of color and a lot of chicken. Do you reckon that makes the food even more delicious? Yeah. KFC Ooh, do you reckon there's yak? with a hint of yak yes 
Anyway, look, we have these beautifully designed shops along the edge. They're selling loads of bits from clothing rentals, from Tibetan margin tang local speciality. Probably some yak meat in there as well, some dried up spices, so many different bits and bobs. Oh look, I love it, everybody's what dressed is this up. Sign? What is this sign? I want to know this. This is painted around Shangri-La. Right, yeah, we've seen it a few times. It's a red wall with the white writing on it. I don't really know, but... Everyone loves to take photos out there. They do, they really enjoy it. We are now going to go and head back over to our next spot. So, come with us. Plenty of supermarkets along the way, selling more of the local specialties. Loads of bits and pieces. There's fruits all along the way. These fruits look like they will be so good as well. Like nice and juicy and ripe. Oh, lovely. Oh, what's this place? Do you know? Ah, oh, could be. Very fancy out the front. Very nice. I wonder. They've got a big screen up here, but I'm not too sure what it is. This outfit is really warm. It is actually quite nice. You know, it's a little cooler here in Shangri-La. So we are enjoying the fact that we are kind of wrapped up, actually. I'm not cold at all. And these furry headpieces do the world of good. They're very, very nice. <laughs> okay, right. Onwards to our next stop. Let's go. We quickly came back to our hotel because it started raining a little bit, but it was a passing shower. And as you can see now, there's a bit of blue in the sky and it stopped raining. Happy days. <laughs> Where's our cab? It is coming somewhere. We're just going to head slightly outside of the ancient town and go and explore it more. I think it's this one here. I have a feeling. One double six double eight. Yep, that's our guy. All right, now this will be interesting. Ready? Yes. Let's see how we fare with these outfits in the cab. Here we are. Okay. Thank you. I I would like to think she said that you're looking gorgeous. Yeah, I need to learn the word for beautiful because I'm not sure. So <laughs> you never know. Okay, so next up. We are on our way to the monastery, which is slightly away from the ancient town. Not yeah. too far. We could have walked it. Um, no, uh, five no, kilometers. Is it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, we couldn't have walked it, especially with these outfits, because uh, I look like I'm a warrior prince. Yeah, I don't know what they are. They're royalty, I think, but I'm not sure. Do you reckon? I don't know. Do you know whatever it is? I absolutely love them. Yeah, I love it. It's really cool. Let's go guys, time for the next stop. Beautiful sun is out as well. Yay, after the biggest downpour. So Can you believe it? I know, right? That was the most torrential I've ever seen rain in China, anywhere since we've been in Yunnan. We've been to Kunming, Dali, Lijiang, now here. And this was the heaviest, but yeah. it's gone. Like it never happened. Yeah. So, enough talking, more action. Let's take you to our next stop. Let's go. We have now arrived at the tourist service center of Song Zalin, scenic area, Shangri La city. Yes, we have. Is this Song Zalin or is this Song Jalin? Song Jalin. I don't know. I mean, we're trying our best, so if we ever pronounce the word wrong, we try it. Wow. Well. Oh, I think by the time we finish here in Shangri La, and the north of Yunnan with all of these elaborate ceilings. I'm gonna have a bad neck because everywhere we go, I'm able to look up, I'm like, wow, look at that. Even look at this, the grand entrance of the monastery. I think that if I'm not wrong from looking at the map, then the monastery is much further in. So I think we have to buy tickets here. Okay. And then I, there might be a bus. Yeah, it did say ticket hall. Okay, this is what I was talking about. That sign on the wall, does that reach Shangri-La city? I believe it does, because everywhere I've seen this, I've seen people stood by this sign and getting their photos. It's got something about the height. It says 3,300. Okay. Should I so translate it? I think it does say Shangri-La city then. But lots of gold in here in the area. Gorgeous. Normally, I've seen a lot of emphasis on blue, red, and green. 
But as you come further along, further north, it starts getting golden. So I just took a photo and it translates to Lira Shangi. And then the closest place to Tianmi by 3,300 meters. I don't think that's the correct translation, guys. So <laughs> this is where your expertise kicks in. I just want to make sure there's no temple anywhere. Yeah. Because usually in the area, you can't really go and record inside where there are temples. So no, this is the entrance to the ticket hall. So I think we should be all right. So we are going to get in the queue here. Yes. And then we're going to buy a ticket. We are. Okay. So... Let's get some tickets. I think we're going to have to catch a bus. Okay. Do you know whatever it is? It's an adventure. We are here. In case if it's your first time as well and you're planning a trip to uh, Shangri-La, maybe use this as a little reference. Okay. Through we go. We purchased our tickets. So now we go through. Thank you. Bus. Okay. Thank you. So yeah, we just found out that 55 yuan is for the ticket per person and then there's a bus, so it's about two kilometers to get to the monastery this way. Is that? Yes, this one. Yay. This bus is all lined up here. Ready to take there is, we've got one here, one here, one here as well, but we're going to go around this way. And it's 20 yuan per person to go and take the bus and it's a round trip. So we decided we'll get on the bus because otherwise it's two kilometers to walk. I don't know. Yeah, at the back. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> wow. Okay. Reminds me of school. We're in. It does, right? Sitting right at the back. Okay, enough talking. Wow. Look at the big tower. It does look amazing. So beautiful. Surrounded by like the hills and the mountains as well. 360 degrees. So, anyway, like we said, turning around to get on the bus. Got our tickets. There's different ways of doing it if you're driving it yourself. I think you can drive there yourself after buying tickets. 55 per person. Yeah, I think you, you can drive to the it. top, right? You can walk it. But if you don't want to walk it, pay an extra 20. Yeah. Buy yourself a bus ticket. Jobs are good in. And you're straight on your way yeah. to the monastery, which I believe is huge. Yeah. The biggest in Yunnan. Uh -huh. And it looks like the mini Patala Palace as well, which is in yes. but we're on our way. Look at this. These have so many levels. Wow. Like the enormity of the structures. Let that just sink in. Again, Libby will be for scale. Go ahead. Give us an idea how big these gates are. Wow, oh, the backdrop looks gorgeous. Let us just go past these gates, guys. That's Libby for scale. Oh, you look tiny compared to the gate behind you. Okay, let's do this. I am an absolute fan of the golden color. Got a ticket check, thank you. Wow. This is what we're here for. Raw, oh, this is so beautiful. So elaborate, isn't it? And get ready for the big reveal. Look at that. Wow. Guys, that is next level. And now, with the sun out, it's so golden that the top is sparkling. Oh my wow. lord. It feels like we're in a walled city, like you watch in movies. Yeah. You come through the gates and there's this so epic true. castle right at the top of the hill. It feels a bit like that. We've just entered the gates of the city here. And lo and behold, a walled city where you've got the massive castle up there. But in this case, it's not a castle, it's a monastery. So this is the largest Tibetan <laughs> Buddhist monastery it was built in 1679 freaking heck take a look at those stairs have you seen how many people there are all i see is umbrellas and umbrellas because the sun here is strong this is built at 3300 meters oh my god that is nuts okay again for all you experts out there how long do you guys think it's taken to build this beautiful structure how many years? That Comment below and let us know. Because I would love to know that. And now, I'm just thinking, just looking at these steps here. How long is it going to take us to make our way up there? Oh my gosh. There's views and views everywhere. Okay. Why? What's this? 
Let's just have a look, see what's happening. All right, another elaborate gate. Let's go inside, see what's happening. I think this is another temple. Because the temple entrances here, so if I've noticed, are marked with this black coverall. So that's when you know beyond this point starts the temple. I'm gonna go inside, see what's happening, and I'll see you guys when I come back out and I'll describe it for you. Alright, BRB. Okay, so as I was saying, past the black covers starts the temple, so you can't really go and record inside, but I can tell you that the colours inside were the most elaborate yes. that I've ever seen in any temple anywhere in the world. And there was lots of donations left around the side also so many bottles of alcohol so As we offerings. yeah right we think that they're offerings so that was quite cool to see but they're all they look old so they look like they've been sitting there for ages but really interesting to see highly recommend it so far but we're gonna head through and up right? way up there so we need to go back out and then make our way up there let's make our way up to the main monastery let's go this is maybe 100 150 steps probably at an altitude how many times do you think you're gonna have to stop too many <laughs> i am not fit i should be way more i swear i'm aiming to do this in one go the key is to go slow there's another temple here i think yeah all right you're breaking <laughs> yeah i'll see you up there then okay. All right, that's Libby breaking, and I'm carrying on. Nothing fancy, it's nice and easy. I am getting a bit short of breath. Up, up, and away. Whew. Above and beyond, people. Let's do this. I have done it. Now I'm looking for Libby. Where is she? She's still down there. I've done it in one go. And that was no easy task, let me tell you that. But the rewards are so worth it. You can get a better view of the outskirts of Shangri-La. And the golden rooftops. Oh, oh, there she is. She's made it. She got this. Great job. Jeez. How many times did you stop? Just once? Two. Not bad, not bad. You came up a lot sooner than I thought you would. Great job. Go on, grab a seat there. There it is, that was a dry spot. How was that then? Oh my gosh. I'm in tear out of breath. What if I tell you this is only the halfway point? Look at our face. <laughs> yep. That is just the halfway point. You've got probably similar distance past this point, if not more. Wait, hey, hey, listen. Beauty comes at a price. So what are these absolutely amazing, gorgeous views? You got a toil for them, guys. So work hard and enjoy the views, eh? Wow, the view from up here. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got this huge lake that's appeared. I did not see this beforehand. I can see a load of prayer flags just in the distance over there. And all the grassland surrounding it is just stunning. This direction, not so much. The weather looks a little bit miserable. But this direction, perfect. We've got some sunshine, some blue skies, some spray in the clouds. As long as this cloud cover is going yeah, that way. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's going that way, we don't mind. We don't want it to come this way. But so far, so many freaking steps, but it's worth it so far, so far. This monastery was actually rebuilt. It used to be able to house, I think, 2,000 monks. Oh, wow. They used to live right at the top in the accommodation. Now I think it has around 700. Mm. So there you go, interesting facts there. But are you ready to go up? I'm just looking at how many ravens there are here. Oh yeah, I didn't even see them oh, all down Lord, here. Wow, fascinating. Yeah, we've well. yeah, we got the monks coming up the stairs right now. I wonder if they just think this is light work because they're used to always oh, doing yeah. quite a lot of steps, aren't they? And a lot of height, maybe. Oh, okay, wish me luck. Ah, oh, this is fascinating. 
We have one of the prayer wheels that started already here. We're just spinning it and it's always with your right hand. There we go. Always have to go clockwise. Yes, absolutely. So actually, when you're visiting the whole complex, you're supposed to go clockwise as well. Look at these prayer wheels as well. Stunning. Wow. Well, you're going to go give them a whirl? Yeah. And look at this entire complex. Wow. Okay. Let's do the prayer wheels. With your right hand. We have been to a few temples and monasteries in uh, Nepal, but we have not seen anything quite as grand as this. This is huge. I was reading somewhere, it said that there's two villages here as well, and the monastery, and over time that it's expanded as well. Like Libby was saying earlier, it used to house 2,000 monks At before and now there's about 700 that live here? Yes, so there's about 700 I think in about 200 accommodations. One of the fascinating things as well is that all the window frames are all covered as well. Do you think that's to keep the light out so that it preserves The paintings inside, inside yeah. I think because... It's so elaborate on the inside and so colourful that I would imagine the sunlight must dim it over the years. I still don't think this is the peak of the place. There's there's another one just behind this. Oh my goodness, Yeah, I think so. Wow. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> All right, we need to get some Done. water now. Yes, we do. So we'll go and find that. Then we'll check out the rest of this monastery. So we've just come up to another section we've now got a much brighter one here of some orange and some red and on the floor in front we have a beautiful mandala which i believe these are made by the monks so they basically spend their time their patience their focus into these mandalas and it's right outside of this beautiful spot here wow this is a popular photo spot as well we've got lots of people taking their pictures over there we just went inside another one and I can't tell you the colours. I can't tell and you. Size. Yeah, and there's huge, huge sculptures and just statues. And it's wow. Like we were walking through and we were like speechless. It is stunning. I wish we could show you, but we understand there's rules. So another amazing thing is see this fridge here. This is unmanned, unlocked. You've got all the drinks in there. We were really thirsty because we finished up all our water. The best bit is there's nobody manning it. There's no one there and they rely on people's good nature and honesty. Yeah. So the QR code's there for Alupay, WeChat. You take whatever you want to take and then do the right thing, make the payment. I have never seen this anywhere else in the world. No, but I've seen it quite a lot here. Like, in China, yeah. Yeah, sometimes on the pedestrian streets, we've seen like um, stalls. souvenir stalls, yeah, or, like things you can buy and stuff. And they've just left the stall, left the Alipay code or the WeChat code and just like, left. it's goodwill, I guess, uh -huh. yeah. Wow. If you know, I we've had the most amazing time here. We have. If I could have a pound for every time one of us Says, has said, wow, wow or, oh my god, beautiful, or stunning, we would be millionaires. Because, we need more adjectives. Yeah, Yunnan in general has just been next level. But I mean, Shangri-La, wow. What do you say to this? Like, look at the gorgeous beauty here. Like, what do you say other than wow? Should we try and make it to uh, the lake? Yeah. We want to go down there, don't we? I've had the photo point over there is really amazing. The views are gorgeous, yes. I've heard. So. I want to see it from far. I think it's going to be pretty. So let's make a move. I think it might rain again. No. Well, so far it's holding off a little bit, so it's cool. But pat on our backs a little bit because we made it all the way to the highest point. So we've done the mini Patala Palace. We have, yeah. Stay tuned. Maybe we might go and do the real Patala Palace soon, not yeah. eh? Stick around. <laughs> And you'll see what we're talking about. All right, let's go down to the lake in three, two, one. Let's go. We made it down to the bottom. Woohoo! The climb down was definitely much easier than the climb up. But look, we got to the little lake down here, which is so cute. There's ducks all along here. 
so sweet. This is absolutely beautiful. As Taz was saying earlier, there's actually a few villages here as well. So the residents all live here and then on a few peaks around in this sort of area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on the camera because it's quite dark over there. But there's on the peaks a big kind of like a teepee almost of prayer flags. And you can see them over there. You can see it up there, just behind you over there. You can see it up here as well. Can it's so stunning. This place is. It is, right? Like, this is the bit that we've covered. Uh huh. And then but it goes more. along the side. Yeah, there's it goes, more there. Yeah. And then some behind Round, the tree as well. Yeah. And this is just like the main site of the monastery. This actual like whole bit where we got the bus from earlier, it was two kilometers away. So it's ginormous. It's well worth the visit. I think for 55 yuan, with the bus ticket, 20 yuan. So 75 altogether per person. Not I think bad. it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. Because the size of the statues that we've seen in there. Yeah. They were Stunning. the biggest we've seen them anywhere. Yeah, they were like, super beautiful. The monastery, uh, the prayer rooms and the areas in there. Wow, grand, like yeah. super, next level. Look at this, we've even got geese here. <laughs> They're looking at you like, what do you want? I named this one Donald. That one, Daisy, Stacy, Ella. <laughs> They're all just girls yeah, hanging out. Did you call them Donald and Daisy? Yeah, no. Donald, Daisy, Ella, Stacy. Cute. <laughs> they're just uh. chilling. They're so, they look like they're concentrating on something, but right. imagine being a goose here, taking the views and you've got some ducks here as well. Oh, Isn't that so right, Donald? Donald? Yes, Donald's like, yeah, I agree with you. He's like, we're not ducks. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, sunnies are back on, hopefully. The sky is going to clear because the sun is making a comeback, hopefully. A little fight back going on with the clouds, but one last view of this amazing, gorgeous monastery. What an amazing, amazing place. Loved our time here, guys. So we are probably going to finish up here, guys. We spent a good few hours wandering around, absorbing all the sights, saying hello to the ducks. But for now, we're going to pop back on the bus and head back to Shangri-La ancient town. Let's do this. Let's go. What a day we have had. We just hopped in a DD and came back to Dukizong, the ancient town here in Shangri-La. And it is such a cool little town. Actually, it's the biggest city. It's the capital city of this prefecture, I believe. So there you go. Tibet but, Autonomous Prefecture. Yes, Diqing Tibet Autonomous Prefecture. There you go. See, guys, we do know stuff, but it has been incredible, hasn't it? Also, if you guys remember at the start of this vlog, we had a little uh, envelope that came in and we told you we'll yeah. give you a little lowdown about that. <laughs> Where do you guys think we're going? It's Where do you think we're going? No, it's time to reveal the surprise. No, it was a surprise throughout. Yeah. We are going to Tibet. <laughs> yeah, yo. So oh. stay tuned, it's going to be one hell of an adventure. I am so very excited, looking forward to it. Oh yeah. But Shangri-La for now. Has been amazing. To... We've got more adventures coming up from uh, Shangri-La because yes. we're here for another few days. Yes, so that are. means more adventures, more epic exploration. <laughs> However, if you guys are still stuck around, you know what you are, you are legends. Yes. Go ahead, check us out on Doyin and on Xiao Hongshu as well. Yes. And we're on Billy Billy as well. So we will see you guys in the next vlog. Let's go, subscribe.